You know, uh, probably the highlight of putting together the Brickyard Invitational in 2015 was the Unser family reunion. It was a concept that uh, I thought would be really special to try to pull this iconic family together and for the first time ever get them all on the racetrack at the same time. That was the theory. It's one, two, three. It wasn't without its challenges. Think about the fact that you had Al Unser with four wins at Indy. The checkered flag is out for Al Unser. Al Unser Jr. with two wins at Indy. Uncle Bobby, Bobby Unser with three three Indy victories. And Bobby Unser led all but three of the remaining laps to win his third Indianapolis 500. Robbie Unser raced at Indy. Johnny Unser raced at Indy. Collectively nine Indy 500 victories all on the track at the same time. To get them all on track, which had never been done before, just seemed like such a fun thing to do, especially if we could get some of their cars or winning cars there uh, and to reunite them with those cars in front of the fans and have the fans of SVRA uh, have accessibility to them. Max, how cool of a moment was that for you? I can't believe I'm here with these guys. You know, these guys are history of the sport and uh, I'm honored they even let me stay with them. So it's, uh, uh, I'm speechless. You, you talk about challenges or unexpected surprises. Al Launcher, four-time winner. I meet him for the first time. You know, it's just a thrill. and. And he opens with, um, I'm not wearing a helmet. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, how do you, as a weekend warrior racer, tell, you know, racing royalty that, no, that's not the right answer. You're going to wear a helmet. This is an oval, and you're in a race car and on my watch. And the truth of the matter is, sometimes when he's at the Brickyard, he doesn't wear a helmet because he wants to wave to the crowd and be visible. But... They were in full-blown race cars, and, and Bobby and Al next to each other scared me in itself because they're a touch competitive. After some careful negotiating, I went to Susan, his wife, and said, please help me uh, because he's got to wear a helmet. And, and thankfully, uh, she had the power of persuasion that I lacked. That's what makes SVRA and vintage racing in itself so special. But when you can combine yesterday's racing legends with yesterday's cars, but yet the fans can get to them and have accessibility, it just makes for a, a, an amazing experience. This is probably the last time we'll see the Unzer family all together in their race cars at Indianapolis. What a sight. What a sight. Ultimately, for me, it was emotional. When we, when we finally had those engines fire up on Sunday morning, um, I, I don't know if I can really put into words what it felt like. I had to walk away from everybody. I couldn't stay there because I could feel my, my emotions getting away from me. To have the privilege to put them all together, uh, it, it, was a, it was a dream come true.